Wilderness Safaris is in the business of building sustainable conservation economies. The company does this through an experience-based tourism vertical, a conservation vertical and an awareness vertical. An overview and some background to the company. Wilderness Safaris, a leader in sustainable tourism. More about the listing of Wilderness Safaris on the Botswana Stock Exchange as well as on the JSC. And we look at North Island, an example of a unique conservation project. At the heart of this business are people, people who both understand what they have to do and love what they do. We really love it. No, it's not a job of doing it for money. It's something which you are doing it because you like it. Just imagine you are totally away from your parents or for, for your family for three months. You know, if you, if you come to the point that you like the money, my friend, you'll be gone within a month. So you have to really love the bush. Wilderness Safaris has influence over 7.1 million acres of land in eight of the 11 biomes in Southern Africa, located in seven countries, operating 72 destinations under two brands. Firstly, it was started about 26 years ago, I think, um, in 1984. It was started by, um, by essentially a group of conservationists, people who were dedicated about the bush, um, and essentially at the time wanted to share their passion for the bush with others. Um, and it was, a, it was built on passion and it's still today um, is a company which, it, you know, its foundation is, is, is passionate people. So I think the reality is it started by a group of like-minded individuals uh, wishing to share their desire for these wonderful pure wilderness areas with, with, with guests. Um, and it had humble beginnings. I, I think um, I always say to the staff here that a lot of you know, the credo of wilderness or the essence of wilderness, the soul of this business, is not um, the result of a, of a great boardroom idea. Or, you know, it's basically how the business has evolved over the last 26 years. And I think that's, that, that's why it's so strong. You know, that's why you know, the people in wilderness understand it so well. Um, you know, and they can deliver on the moment of truth, which is essentially where our, our staff meet our guests. If we can exceed guest expectation, um, that, you know, we're a referral-based business. They return, they spread the word, they come back, and you know, and that's how the business is built. Emerging from all the recent reorganizations in the world today are the fundamental essentials for sustainable commerce. Wilderness Safari's response to this is to collectively embrace the importance of ongoing financial prosperity, the building of social equity, and the need to provide across all generations. We saw ourselves for the first 20, 20 odd years of our life uh, as a tourism business. Um, we were in the business of building, of, you know, of offering sorry, journeys and experiences for discerning globally caring travellers. And that's how we saw the business. We were essentially a tourism business with strong underlying conservation concerns and uh, minimal awareness initiatives. I always said, um, humbly, humbly speaking, I, I always said wilderness was a good, good story kept quiet. And, um, but I think that's part of the reason why we are here today. I think we, we, we want to lift it, but that's, that was the outlook of wilderness. Our, our ideology, the reason why we exist was because we believe the world's wilderness areas will save humankind. And our vision was ultimately to, was to leave a legacy of conservation for our children. And that was, that was how the business started. And today, it's evolved. It's definitely changed. It's, you know, the, the, the face of the business, the essence is still there, but the face is a little bit different. Um, what happened um, about five years ago, I was hosting a, a, one of our clients on North Island and they, um, they were quite taken by the rehabilitation program of, of the island. We uh, acquired North Island um, with the intention of creating, uh, of creating a Noah's Ark. We wanted to rehabilitate the island and reintroduce the endemic and endangered species of the Seychelles. And that was the vision for the island, acquiring the island, which we're very proud of today because we've been able to achieve most of that. But the reality was that this guest wanted to accelerate or help us accelerate the program and he, and he offered us um, you know, a sum of money which is attractive to try and accelerate it. You know, it's a 30 to 40 year rehabilitation program and obviously a large amount of money would, would accelerate that time frame. So he, um, you know, he offered it, but on, you know, he withdrew the offer at the end and as he felt that, that our tourism business would be the ultimate beneficiary. And it was at that point that we kind of took that message back, we reflected on it and we thought, well, it's quite strange because tourism, in fact, all through our years had contributed towards, towards our conservation efforts and hadn't been a net beneficiary. So this perception of wilderness where tourism was the beneficiary was wrong. And it's at that point that we turned this business around and we saw and we now see ourselves in the business of building sustainable conservation economies. <music>